Then he would have used Charlie, that sounds like it was designed for you. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he was referring to, we have one position left over from six or seven years ago or thereabouts that involves us selling protection on zero coupon municipal bonds with a nominal value, uh, maturity value, which is, since there's zero coupons, is far off and not present value at all of, I think, 7.7 .7 billion or something like that. And uh, we're just sitting with that position because we like the position. And the gentleman mentions that our CDS, uh, our CDS is, that's a, an insurance premium against our debt that people buy. Uh, a, there's a fair amount of activity in it from time to time. And uh, I think that's partially caused by the fact that <clears throat> we neither collateralize that, that municipal uh, contract that he refers to, but we don't collateralize with minor exceptions the equity puts that are still out there. So the counterparties have to buy, <clears throat> I believe this is the case, I think the counterparties have to buy protection on Berkshire's credit through CDSs. Now the people they buy it from, their credit probably isn't as good as Berkshire's. So I mean, I think they're, but it's probably in, in an internal rule at some of these firms that are on the other side of the, the contract. And so, but that really doesn't make any difference to us. Back in 2008, and nine, our CDS uh, prices went up to a crazy level. And I even commented here at the annual meeting that I would love to be selling them myself, except I wasn't allowed to. Uh, uh, but what goes on in the CDS market really isn't of any particular interest to us. And it's too bad for the other guys. They didn't get collateral from us and we wouldn't have given it to them. Uh, and so they have to buy these things that like I say, from our, our standpoint, they're wasting their money, but they probably have internal rules that make them. I think I've addressed your question, but Charlie, do you think I've addressed this question? <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is that we don't pay much attention to trying to get an extra two basis for points by being gamey on our short term things. And that credit default position is a weird historical accident. And we don't pay much attention to it either. It'll go away in due course. Yeah, all of our contracts are just going to expire. We're, we're not a, now we do a few operational contracts in our energy con, in company. I mean, there's a couple of places where they, uh, for their own reasons, and sometimes because the utility commissions want them to, uh, they do certain things, but it's peanuts. And the positions that I instituted six or seven years ago are, are basically all in, uh, in a runoff position. And the first big runoffs will be in 2018 in a couple of years. We're basically I'm, not in that. We don't, we're not in, we no. don't fool around with our own credit default swaps at no, all. No, no, never, no. no. But I would have liked to have sold them in 2008. They actually got up. People were paying I know, it was 500 crazy. basis, about 5% in terms of betting that Berkshire would go broke, which was totally crazy, but, but uh, I couldn't take advantage of it. I wanted to, though. In the